These artifacts and the Stafford Air and Space Museum are just the tip of the iceberg for what General Thomas Stafford did for Weatherford. The former astronaut died today at 93, but Weatherford says when he came back from space, he brought big things back with him. If it wasn't for the fact that we already have another town to the west of us called Stafford, we would have probably changed the name. General Thomas Stafford was the commander of the Apollo 10 mission, but in Weatherford, Oklahoma, he's somehow even more than that. There's streets named for him here. There's buildings named for him. He never forgot his hometown. He never forgot where he grew up. There's one thing looking down on the Earth from Earth orbit. There's another thing to look back at the Earth when you're at the moon. It's the size of an orange. Friends say the students in Weatherford were his passion, and he was able to help many through the Stafford Scholar Program at his museum. I was able to go to the NASA internship over there at Kennedy Space Center. Thomas Esquierdo is an engineering student at Southwestern Oklahoma State University who was able to work with NASA because of the program. He's given me a lot of opportunities. He's opened a lot of doors for me. And soon a new school named after the general will sit just down the road from where he'll be buried, a monument to what can come from his hometown. He said, I grew up in a small western Oklahoma town in the middle of the Dust Bowl, in the middle of the Great Depression, and I flew to the moon. So don't tell me what's impossible. Ahead of his funeral, Stafford's casket will sit here in the museum for two days to honor him. In Weatherford, Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News.